Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rumbling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Kingdom Come Deliverance Blind. I think I'm more or less ready to ride, uh, to ride out on another mission with uh, Sir Kuno. So let's do just that. Can we set out? Sure. We'll head towards Sassau today. Jakey heard at the tavern in Ledechko that someone there saw some unfamiliar horseman. You think they could be Hagens? Maybe, maybe not. It's enough that they're not local. Could be the escort of some merchant caravan, of course. Well, at least, if it's near Ledechko, uh, I won't have that much... Uh, I don't, won't have that long of a distance to go back. Mm. Although I guess it's closer to Sasso itself. Actually, it's even past Sasso. Okay, so that will be quite some distance to go back. <sighs> Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. <laughs> <laughs> All that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. There's to be dairy check, potocky vina. I should probably take out a shield, especially if we're getting shot at. Probably not the best time to be looting the bodies. Okay, I really hope they are all alive. How, how many were there?
Okay, I think they are all alive. That's the stone. That's one of the Berman brothers. Uh, Sir Kuno. Uh, I can see Fletcher. Uh, Dangler. Uh, yeah, and, and two Berman brothers. I think they are all alive. Is everyone alive? I think so. Uh, Dangler, the stone, uh, Fletching, and two brothers, right? Um, I, I think that's all of them. Because uh, Drakey uh, ran off to scout. It's like that time, five winters back, near Yihlava. Six, maybe. Only that time, it was us lying in wait. Aye. I can't blame them Zools. It's a good trick. Just look at how I'm fucked up. They picked a nice spot. They figured we'd be half drowned and lose our weapons in the current. Only Jakey's been washed away. Where is that little shit anyway? If he ain't dead, you'll soon wish he was. Look at Kuno's face. Aye, I've seen that look before. At that ford by Yilava. Five or six winters back. Where we were lying in wait for that treacherous sister of his and her cronies. Okay, uh, I will re repair my equipment before talking to him, because I think that's not the last I've seen of a fight. What now? I don't know. They could be lying in wait for us anywhere. Someone must have snitched on us. We should split up and get the fuck out of here. So every man for himself? Just so. But you think it was one of the band who betrayed us? Look around for yourself. Who's missing? Jakey. That's who. I sent him on ahead and he knows which way we're going. That little fucking Judas. When I get my hands on him, he'll rue the day he was born. I'll try and track him down. He can't be too far away. No, it's too risky. He could have Hagen's people all around him. All we need to do is get out of here in one piece. Hmm. So, are they indeed all going their separate ways? No, they seem to be l roughly heading the same direction. Met with Kuno in the encampment. So, hmm. I hope they won't die, like, uh, on the way there. Um, rested back at camp. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, uh... Are those their horses? What are they, what are they even doing here? How does that make sense? Uh, that the horses are here. Uh... To my mind, it doesn't, but I might ride with them, because mm, because I would be going back anyway. I want to wrap up this uh, this Circuno's questline. Uh, hmm. Okay, there's still two horses left. So did did some of them die, uh, or did they just not arrive yet? Uh, Circuno is himself is here. Uh, as is one of the Berman brothers, uh, as is the stone, mm, and the other Berman yeah. brother. So I guess it's the... it's what? Fletching and Dangler, right? That are missing. Uh, now, I, I, I kind of enjoyed the stone, like, 
uh, he's, he's such an interesting character because he's mute, so you don't really know what he's thinking most of the time. But he can he can play a f uh, he can play a flute, and he like prays for the bodies of the uh, I mean not for the bodies for the souls of the of the slain people. Like I, I saw I saw him praying in one of the villages. Uh, he's a pretty interesting character. Mm, I hope uh, Dangler and uh, Fletching are going to be alright. Hey, get out of here! There's no place. Oh! Watch what you're doing! There's people walking here! Get out of here! Okay, so that's a, that's a poacher camp. Be off, I say! From here. Okay, okay, I'm going. It's like a fisherman's tent. Not here. I might take a moment to snoop around and like open the chests because uh, there are a couple of chests in this encampment. I won't necessarily rob anything. I just want to practice. How does that compare to my Warhammer? 54. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of tempted, but I'm not going to steal from them. I just wanted to practice of, op of opening the locks. shield. I wonder what, how that compares to the shield I'm currently using. 
I'll wait for their return. Hopefully they, they will all return safely. If they are not yet here, uh, does that mean the game cal calculates their travel time like accurately? Uh, it calculates how long it would have taken them to get back here and I have to wait for that long? Mm, how tired am I? Yeah, tired enough so I can sleep for a couple of hours. Okay, so they are back, right out on the fourth mission. Uh, sure, does anyone want the ring, maybe? And in. Get the hell out of here! Radzik's man! What's happening? Like I said, maybe you might help me out. It wouldn't by any chance have to do with the ring I got for your brother. How did you guess? Put it down to my amazing powers of deduction. So, are you gonna get it for me? It won't be easy, mind. Jan thinks I might try to steal it. The mistrustful bastard. All right, why the hell not? Great. Best thing is just to pinch it. He watches me like a hawk, but you... Yeah, I know nothing about... Uh... I know nothing about pickpocketing, though. Uh, maybe I can just, like, provoke him into a fist fight? I want that ring back. <laughs> That's a good one. The ring back. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Good for you, but you're not getting it. Come on. How about fighting for it, eh? Not in the mood for it, sorry. Besides, I'm looking forward to drinking away every Groshen Kuno has, and more. Boozing is about all you're good for. What are you trying to say? You're a drunken good for nothing, just like your brother. And clearly not very smart since I have to explain it to you. Don't you insult my brother, you piece of shit. Or what? Or I'll give you what for. Oh, I thought you weren't in the mood for fighting. You just put me in the mood. You call that combat? Now you're fucked. No <laughs> curva! <laughs> He's going to, be, to take as long as it did last time, then... I'm not exactly happy about it. It is a good opening though. <laughs>
Okay. I got the ring. Brilliant. Yan will have a fit. <laughs> Here, have this for your trouble. You've earned it. Okay, I can I can go out on the next mission. I will, however, drink uh, Savior Schnapps, and just to be sure. Oh, damn it! I've overeaten. Mm, it's a pity. Oh well. See everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, someone up there, or someone down there. Shit, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him, and beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. Well, that sounds like a good plan. But why me? For one thing, you're reliable. And for another, you're not likely to wring his neck on sight. Which can't be said for the rest of us. Well, where is he hiding? He isn't a little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. Be in on the meadow, or something like that. Be in in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. That's uh, near Tarnberg, right? What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see, to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to spring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure. Jakey won't be there forever, and someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going then. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. Okay, so... That is the inn near uh, Tal Talenberg, right? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, well, it's not exactly near Talmberg, I guess, which is good for me because I'm currently over here. So it's actually quicker if I just go north uh, past Ledechko. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can't handle. 
Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm. Fresh meat. No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. I could send the stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> ah. Of course. I'd pay you well for anything you bring me. Even more than something you particularly want. And if you help me out here and there, I'll teach you something useful in return. That's an interesting proposition. Are you after some meat? I've run out of boar meat. It's a nuisance. Folk come here from far and wide for my boar gulag. If you could bring me some, I'd make it worth your while. I'm looking for a young fella by the name of Jakey. What about him? I heard he was seen here. Maybe, but he ain't here now. And can you tell me where he might be? No, I can't. He's a guest. And if I went mouthing off to anyone who came by about who was here and what they were doing, it wouldn't do my reputation much good. Do you know who Sakuno of Riffold is? Nothing escapes me, lad. He's that mercenary who's been patrolling these parts of late. Well, this Jakey betrayed his trust and lured him and his men into a trap, including me. I'm sure you realize Kuno is pretty keen to lay his hand on this Jakey, and anyone who stands in his way is asking for some serious trouble. Eh? I'd never do that. Not me. Well then, where did Jakey get to? Well, I was going to throw him out on his ear at first. He strolls in here like some lord, ordering people around. He's nothing but a snot-nosed brat. But then, he showed me the way of his person. Well, business is business. He stayed here a couple of days. Yesterday evening, he was boozing here. And then went off to the woods with some wench. To the woods? That's a very broad term in these parts. Someone said they saw them heading south across the meadow. There's pine woods there and cliffs. And that's where they went. The girl's father was here with her, a merchant. As soon as he noticed she was gone, he went off to look for her. You might meet him. All right. Thanks. Hmm. S south through the meadow, you say? So... Like, facing from here, I'm supposed to be going right? Yeah. Oh, come, come on! <laughs> that's that's utterly hilarious. Uh, I'm supposed to be going yeah. right, and there's a piece of the forest yeah. which I would believe is this piece over here, right? Oh, and that's probably the merchant who's looking for his daughter. I'm honored that a knight as you takes an interest in me. What's going on here? Marie, my daughter has run away. That's what's going on. Some people at the inn said they saw her running this way with some fellow. And not far from here, I found a scarf. I see. Well, why don't you follow her, then? I would, of course. Only they said the fellow was armed. And I've got a horse and wagon here. I might get robbed while my back was turned. Well, she's your daughter. Are you just going to stand here and do nothing? Well, the thing is, it's not the first time she's done it. And she always came back. But I've got to carry on to Sternberg, and she's nowhere to be found. Oh. Well, we have something in common. I'm looking for that fellow who ran off with your daughter. What? You know him? A little. Is he dangerous? Well, probably. I'd be very worried in your shoes. This Jakey is a damn dangerous robber. Jesus Christ! Jakey, you say? Doesn't sound like the name of an outlaw. Oh, that's what makes him so dangerous. People underestimate him. What? I I'm pretty sure he made it up. He didn't rob us, he betrayed us. Which, you know, he might be potentially dangerous, 
Uh, because obviously obfuscating your level of competence by pretending to be incompetent is actually a pretty good tactic. I can have a look for your Maria if you want. You do that? Of course. Helping my neighbor in his hour of need is my Christian duty. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You said you found her scarf here somewhere. Yes. Right past the shrubbery there, hanging on a tree. Hmm. I'll have a look that way then. And the Lord will help you. Uh, past the shrubbery. Ah, right here. Looks like Hansel and Gretel went this way. Okay, that's a pagan idol, which does not exactly help me really. Oh, you want you want credit for finding that interesting place? Sure. There's the good doggy. That's my boy. Okay, at this point I'm just going around randomly. We didn't, didn't notice any other articles of clothing. Uh, okay, I'm back where I was. Months on the rocky outcrop, so it seems. you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time, but that one was a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin, instead of trying to smash my skull right away, and then to leave me like this. <laughs> I say that's the pot calling the kettle black. Listen, Henry, that thing with Hagen, I didn't want to, really, but they kept threatening me, and then they offered me coin, Jesus, Henry, I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zul? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Well, no. Uh, like, he did betray us for... It seems mo even more so for coin than because of the threats. So that's like the lowest form of betrayal. You turn back on, on your friends for like a financial reward. I, we're not mates. What are you talking about? Maybe I won't kill you. That's, that's the extent I can go for. Mates? After you dropped me and the others in the ship? 
You know we could have all been killed at that fort. Jesus, I know, Henry. I'm sorry, truly. But look here. If I tell you where to find Zul, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? That rock must have really scrambled your brains. Henry, I... I'm really sorry. I swear. Those fellas scared the wits out of me. I can believe that. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. Please, let me go. First, tell me where Hagen is, and then we'll see. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'll be left here for the crow. Why did he have to betray Kuno? You could have just taken the money and done nothing. Yeah, just like Kuno would do. You've only been with us a while. If you'd been riding with him as long as I have, you'd see through him. He passes himself off as an angel of mercy, but he's as much of a swine as any common footpath. And he's not particularly... Like, I've seen worse than him, plenty of wor plenty worse than him, but he's no paragon of chivalric virtue, that's for sure. Like, he was entirely prepared to let those women at the mill uh, get raped and possibly killed just because he didn't want to risk uh, fighting those, uh, those mercenaries, right? He's no angel, true enough. But that's no cause for betrayal. You wouldn't be saying that if he treated you the way he treats me. Mm. Okay, let's try uh, empathizing with him for a while for information. I don't think I'm going to kill him as much as I don't really forgive him, quote unquote, because I think there's no good justification for what he has done. Uh, I, I don't think I'm, ki I'm going to kill him because uh, he's very young and also he's, he's, he's tied and defenseless. That would be, you know. That wouldn't be justice per se, that would that would feel dangerously like murder. I know what you mean, Jakey. Who knows no less of a bastard than that Hagen? They're all birds of a feather. Yeah, right? But why ride with them then? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radzig wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know. If you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will suffer. Oh, uh, I suppose you're right. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think? He's gonna go there in person, along with what's left of his band. So, are you gonna untie me now? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to do this. I think he should be punished somewhat. I'll untie you, all right, and take you where you belong. What? Well, what are you saying? Where? To jail. But you can't. We had an agreement. We didn't agree on anything. My conscience is clear. Yeah, we didn't exactly agree on anything, and then I did untie him. I just. I just didn't uh, free him entirely and I think he should be punished uh, somewhat like what he has done as I said it's like the lowest form of betrayal
Mm. Was it you who called me? What's up, Kuno? It's about that accursed ring. What again? I, I heard the fellas had you running around for them. You mustn't let them take advantage of you. Anyway, it's all gotten a bit out of hand. I wanted to raise morale, but instead I've got them at each other's throats. True enough. But what do you want me to do? I want you to get the ring from Petter and bring it to me. I can't just take it back, see? They'd lose their trust. Besides, Petter's hidden it somewhere. He won't be willing to give it up. All right. But I hope this is the last time. I'll bring you the ring and the game's over. Don't worry. I've done with this game. In future, I'll just buy the fellas a drink now and again. Let them play their own games. Look here, Petter. About the ring I gave you. Yeah? What about it? I need to have it back. Well, that's tough. And don't think you can pinch it from me. I've got it well hidden. Supposing I take it from you fairly. A dice? Maybe? Ah, you know me too well, Henry. <laughs> Fine. We can play for it. As long as you can put up a decent wager. Sure. Fine. Let's play. That's what I like to hear. Wow, quite a throw. Here it is. Oh, good. Finally, there'll be peace around here. And listen, I won't invite you for a drink, since it's not the right occasion. But I've got something special for you. Thank you kindly. Mm. Oh, that's a strength book. But, but, but I can't utilize that anymore, right? Because I, I have maximum strength, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, well, maybe I can. Okay. It's not bad. Uh, 
Uh, Ghost also got a pickpocketing perk, which is funny because, oh, when looting corpses you'll find more money, secret pockets, I'll take this, because I'm not using pickpocketing proper at all, uh, and the perk in stealth as well. It lowers the noise of armor and equipment by 20%. Uh, sure, why not? I think I'm actually ready to ride out against Lord Zul, so let me uh, drink a Sega Schnapps. Did I, did I get another perk in drinking? No, just the level. I found Jakey, and I know what Hagen is planning. Spit it out, then. Zul plans to raid Samapesh, and he wants to lead the attack himself. I see. And what about that treacherous little bastard? I took him to the Ratai jailhouse. What will happen to him? That's up to Saradzig. Considering what he did, he'll be lucky to get out of it alive. I'm not so sure. Radzig always had a soft heart. He got me off the gallows, after all. Saddle up now. We'll ride to Samapesh right away. All right. There they are. I can see Zul's colors. It seems they want a parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Cobbler is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offense, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Cobbler concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, Raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. 
What do you say, sir? Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. Okay, so basically Kuno is trash. Like, he, he was so angry at Jakey for betraying them for coin and now he's doing the exact same thing? I don't think appealing to his honor is going to do much. If he had some honor, he wouldn't be doing that. He wouldn't entertain the thought of betraying Sir Razik just for money in the first place. But let's try, let's try it. Have you no honor at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a grosh because you owe him a favor. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honor? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay then? Obviously. Well, it didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offense. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you. But I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damned fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it. Okay, I'll drink that potion uh, that makes me more resistant to blows. Kuno is dead. He didn't last long, really. Ah! 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 
Fucking hell. Oh, that was a flurry of blows, if I ever seen one. Mm, I must say, uh, Sir Hagen's armor is beautiful. I, I look forward to looting it of his co of his corpse. I think everyone else died Fuck. though, which is a bit of a, which is a bit of a pity. And to be to be honest, I might die yet. I, I'm pretty close. Okay, that's a, that's a rather sad resolution to this entire quest line <laughs> because they are all dead. Everyone is dead. The, the whole band? I'm almost dead as well. Uh, that's quite a pity actually, but... Oh well, at least you can say that uh, you know Kuno has finally paid back his, his debt to Sir Razig. Now let's dishonorably loot everyone's corpses. Mm, especially his, because I love his armor. Mm, it'll probably cost a fortune to uh, to repair, but it's brilliant. That's a, that's, a, that's a sad resolution to this story. Oh. Is that one of Hagen's mercenaries or... Or is that one of... Uh, one of Kuno's? Ah! 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 
Kaga! What's the matter? Come on! Okay, let's get back to dishonorably looting everyone's corpses. I'm sorry, the stone. You're pretty cool as a character, but I am. Oh, I can't loot. I can't loot my mm, uh, my allies' corpses. Uh, okay, perhaps that's for the best because I would have. Uh, and it is pretty dishonorable. I can't take their weapons though. Mm, Sir Kuno's armor is pretty cool as well, actually. Wow, this guy just just has six six thousand coin on him. Ah, because that's the guy that was carrying all of the coin that they were going to offer. Uh, what's his name, Sir Kuno? That's actually pretty cool that they sort of included that. Okay, you will be, you will be remembered, and you will be missed. But you know, this is war. That's what that's what it came down to. I guess. Hmm, I wonder if that would be better than my current chainmail. I have to check after I repair it, because that's the one that, uh, mm, that's the one that Lord Zul was wearing, right? I think. Oh, the, the Zul armor is better than my current armor, and it also looks great, so... Uh, I am going to repair it and keep it.
Okay, I'm somewhere nearby. Is there a blacksmith? There isn't. Hmm. Okay, I think I will report to Sir Radzik because I'm actually pretty close, right? Where exactly am I compared to like the mill? Uh, yeah. And then I then I'll go back to Rate to repair all of that equipment, I think. <laughs> oh god <sighs> where is my, my last save is it before I, I wrote out It is. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. It seems fate has given Kuno one other chance to survive. Because I have to redo the whole battle. I'll do that uh, next time. Because this episode has been long enough. That's all for this one and I will see you in the next one. Bye.